In this session, I'm going to take you through how you can back up and restore your desk settings onto a USB drive, like the one I have in my hand. Uh, this is quite useful if you're doing more than just one basic scene or you want to be able to take things home and edit them offline because you can take what you've backed up and load it onto a laptop. It also is a quite a good way of keeping things safe so you can keep a copy of everything just in case there's any problems. So you need a blank USB drive of some kind. Um, doesn't have to be very big capacity. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space just for the desk settings. Uh, but you'll need to find one that you can use and completely start from scratch. It doesn't, shouldn't have anything on it to begin with. So first off, you take your USB drive and you plug it into the socket on the top right there. Then you need to access the menu to go and find it. So on the screen just below it, there's a utility button. So you press that, it lights up. And then down the left on the menu, you can see there's general data used to be USB utility. But click on data. At the moment, my drive isn't ready. It needs formatting, it says. So I go to the USB utility screen and it says it needs formatting. So this is the first time I've used it. You have to format it on the desk. So best thing to do is start with a blank one and format it on here before you do anything else. So you click on format. It'll say it will erase all the data. That's fine. Say yes. Give it a few seconds, depending on how big a drive it is. Okay, so it's all ready. So then I can go onto the data menu. Now on here, I can access shows, scenes, and libraries. So shows are a whole set of desk settings, including scenes and libraries, all the settings to do with the surface and the root channels and all the routing and everything on there. Pretty much the whole lot is saved as a show. Um, you can save a everything as a one show and then recall it. You can also go to the scenes tab and save individual scenes one at a time and you can save individual libraries one at a time and I'll go through each of those. So the main thing you most likely want to do is save the whole show. So the show will be every single scene that's on the desk plus all the libraries that are associated with it. So I've got nothing on here, so I'm going to save this one as a new. So this will, if I do store new, it will give me a warning saying it'll interrupt audio streaming, which is fine because I'm not doing anything. You don't want to do this while you're running the desk, obviously. Uh, you give it a name. Okay. And then it'll take a few seconds, depending on how many um, scenes and so on you have on there, and it'll write all of that onto the USB drive. So the light should flash while it's doing that if you're looking at the uh, device. And then you'll come up and you see oh, I've, got, I've now got on here, I've got USB shows training, the one I just saved. So I could select that and then I could recall it or I could overwrite it. So if I've made changes and I want to update it, I can do that. If I've made changes and I want to reset back to what was saved, I can do that. So for instance, if I go to scenes, I've got the saved scenes I've got. I'm going to go and delete some of those off the desk. So they're gone. So they're now gone, but I think actually I didn't really want to do that. So what I can do is I can go back to my utility page, back to my data, my saved show, tap on recall, get the same warning, and then it'll just say it's going to overwrite everything. That's what I want to do. Yes. Again, give it a few seconds to load it back in again. And that will basically load back in all of the things that I saved last time. So anything I deleted or changed will be overwritten. If I now go back to scenes, I've now got the ones back that I deleted. Great. If I go back to the utility page now, so that works fine for shows, which is basically everything. Um, I can create new ones. I can overwrite them. I can't delete them off here. I can do that just by removing them off the drive separately. But I could take that USB drive and put it onto a computer and then use it. And I can use that on the mix pad which means I can then go and make changes to my scenes, move things around, tweak things on the channels, change the names, etc., and actually prepare a new set of desk settings for the next time I meet. So if you know in advance that you've got a different band or you've got a different event coming up, you could do some of the setup offline on a laptop, save it on, back onto the USB drive, and then load it back onto the desk like this. We can do that same similar thing with the individual scenes. So if I go to the scenes tab, 
I've got a show saved, but I don't have any individual scenes. They're separate. But I could, for instance, pick one of these, say, and copy it. So I'll make sure it's highlighted there. The button says to USB, so I press that. That now copies the one that was on the left onto the USB drive. Great, so I could, I've now got that. If I select that, I could now copy that back to the SQ. That will copy it into a different one. If I want it, you have to watch the arrows on here to say which one's going where and what they say. The moment if I tapped it, it would that one would overwrite the scene from the desk back onto there again. This one would copy this one onto a new one. If I want to overwrite the original, I need to select there and then it will overwrite from that one onto that one. You have to pay attention to the, what the arrows are saying on there. Again, I could pick a different one and I could copy that into the USB like so. That gives me the second one. And I could then overwrite it or I could delete them. So if I don't want them anymore, I can delete them off there. Similar with libraries, if I go to the libraries tab, I've got the libraries that are currently loaded on my desk. I could pick one of those and copy it over to the USB drive. It's similar with a different one. Copy as many of those as I want. This is, could be quite useful if you're working with different shows or you want to be able to move libraries around or keep copies of them. It um, works quite well. Again, you can select one and then copy it back to the SQ or you can select one there, copy it there and overwrite from the USB drive back onto the desk. Okay, so that gives you an idea of the kind of things you can do with the uh, USB drive. Say so the main, main useful thing for it is to have a backup of everything. So it's quite good to remember regularly take backup copies of all your scenes and shows. That way, if anything goes wrong, you know you've got a copy somewhere else.